Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, get the binomial distribution with Python and using a third-party library known as SciPy, which is a quite commonly used one actually. Um, uh, I will not be going over all the details of the formula, just showing how you can get the so-called uh, probability mass function and the cumulative uh, density function of the binomial distribution. In general, this is a distribution that shows the probabilities of the possible k outcomes given n trials and the probability of success on each trial uh, remaining the same. So these are actually the formulas that are often used. Um, so you have the probability math, uh, mass function, which has this binomial coefficient, which uses the factorial, which is this one, which uh, and the cumulative density one is just summing over those probability math, uh, mass ones. And um, you need to floor the k in case it's not an integer. Now using SciPy, um, so then we can use the binom function there. Uh, if you never installed it before, you might want to run pip install. Uh, you only need to do that once, and once it's installed, you can uh, run SciPy stats import binom. I'm going to be using as an example um, uh, 10 trials. Uh, number of successes was 4, and the probability of success on each trial was 0 0.3. Now once I've loaded this one in, um, I should actually just restart my kernel and um, clear all my outputs. Let me do that first. So let's first load this in. I already installed it once. Load my three variables. And then I can use the probability mass function. Uh, first one is k, is the number of successes, then the n uh, number of trials, and then the probability of success. And this leads to about 0 0.2001. So this means that we have a probability of f uh, 4 successes out of 10 trials if the probability of success would be 0 0.3 on each trial. Um, we can also have a look at the cumulative one, which is just CDF then, and that is 0 0.8497, so the probability of having 4 successes or less out of those 10 trials. Um, now, SciPy also has a so-called survival function, which is actually just 1 minus the cumulative density function. So if we run that one, we get 0 0.15. Notice that this plus that indeed equals 1. Um, this is therefore the probability of not having 4 successes or less out of 10. Now, in my appendix, I'll upload this um, Jupyter Notebook on my website, link in the description below. I'll try to explain a little bit on where the formulas actually came from, but this is how you can uh, avoid having to know all these formulas and just use the SciPy library to get the probabilities that you're after. Um, if you, I also make a video on how to do all of this without SciPy, if just using uh, Python and the math library that comes with Python, or even not using that library in a separate video. If you want to know about how to perform a binomial test that's also different, uh, please check my website. I have a link to a video there as well on how to actually do that with Python. Alright, hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.